Day 4 in the auction event, gold under the hammer after yesterday's first ever tier 8 lot, which was AMBT. Today, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at, together, for the first time, what is going to be the vehicle. I have not seen it, I don't know what is the vehicle, let's have a look. So, today's offer, ladies and gentlemen, is yet another skin. Tier 10 WZ. 111 chilling, willing chilling. Basically, model 5A with a special skin. And because you already have this vehicle, uh, I cannot even see the price. So let me quickly go to worldoftanks.eu very, very quickly for you guys. And let's uh, switch the scene. Uh, can I see the price over here? Yes, I can. Okay, 17,400 and 5,500 units in stock on EU server. So this is cheaper than the first 113 uh, Opera, right? But this one is actually a bit special. It has this special uh, look, you know, 3D modeling, uh, gold and shine to it, and the most unique feature, what I'm going to show you in the gameplay action as well, don't worry guys, I'm still going to play with it, is that it uh, breathes fire uh, from the side every single time you fire. The fire comes out from the side of the muzzle, basically, and uh, this was actually yet another prediction we had correct, so this was the uh, Russian egg on the table. Uh, well, we had, like, two options, or this egg had uh, two potential uh, options, either hinting directly towards this vehicle uh, because of how it looked like, you know, black and gold, uh, or uh, because uh, Russian egg, Russian origin, maybe another Russian vehicle, but it turns out uh, to be WZ111 chilling. Now, if we compare those two tanks, uh, honestly, 113 Beijing Opera, I would say you get more out of uh, the chilling, because, you know, more unique look, 3D emblems over here, uh, 3D elements uh, on the vehicle actually modeled in, you know, uh, fire breathing style, uh, golden shine, whatnot, you know, a bit more unique looking uh, uh, compared to this generic 3D style, 18,700, absolutely ridiculous amount of gold actually for this type of um, uh, vehicle. Uh, but uh, this one, well, not much better, honestly. I have this vehicle from the previous black market event, actually, for 33 or 35 million credits. You know, uh, the black market auction, the credit auction we had going on over there. Uh, but uh, comparing those two vehicles, I would say you get a bit more modern uh, Chinese tank. Because this one is based on 5A, it is identical to the model 5A, absolutely 100% identical, uh, simply a bit uh, different look over here, and um, <clears throat> yeah, a lot more rare tank, but it is not going to be as rare as uh, Beijing Opera, Beijing, uh, Beijing Opera had only 4,500 lots, maybe, yeah, so only 4,500 players actually have it. But uh, still, okay, so today, let's me actually play with it, let me show you what it has to offer, but just keep in mind, this is the 5A, identical to the 5A, let's uh, simply jump into the action and let's play a battle or two with it. So, first battle will be played on Live Oaks, and let me just demonstrate to you the most unique feature about this tank. Every time we fire, it does this, lights turn red, lights turn up or turn on. Uh, eyes, actually, not lights. Eyes turn on and boom, you can see how it breathes fire. So this is basically the most unique thing about this vehicle. Now, what is um, available in the Under the Hammer event right now. And uh, let's try to get into the city, actually, without receiving too many shots. But um, pretty sure that 260 is ready to shoot me. And here is EBR as well, who was ready to shoot me. I'm going to send his um, E5 out as little, you know, skinny big. What are you actually waiting for me? One thousand one hundred fourteen. I mean, what can I do about that? 
Now we just have to sit over here like little dogs. Now we just have to sit and wait like little dogs. Make your move. Just like that, 484. At least we are not walking away from this battle empty-handed. Even though artillery tried to do the best. To make this happen. To make us walk away with absolutely nothing. Oh boy, no! No! That was my kill! That was my kill to have, actually. Quick shot into the turret. Well, let's simply try to... Let's try to... Maximize whatever we can. Maximize in this... Crazy, crazy situation over here. Okay, another kill picked up. But I would say 1000 damage is... Maximum what we are able to take. Okay, three kills. Hey! <laughs> Three kills. The side skirts. And four kills. <laughs> what a battle is this? What a battle is this? Everything over here doesn't make sense, but hey, you know, it is word of things. So everything doesn't have to make sense. Uh, yeah, let's actually get uh, Little Brother Sinarv's medal out from this battle as well. And hopefully we are not going to die because uh, STB1 is one shot. Where is EBR? What is the EBR doing? Okay, EBR spotted. EBR spotted the artillery right over there. Has to be right over there or up here. No. Where is that EBR bastard? Ah, EBR chuked. EBR chuked our guys. And this game is... A victory with 519 damage done at the end of the battle as well. So 1800 damage. Well, guys. In this battle, you were not able to see too many things besides the special unique feature and uh, the fact that artillery can penetrate you on the top of the engine bay. And next up, we have a tier 8 battle on good old Turpenberg, and I believe we need a little breather uh, after getting almost one shot by the artillery. Also, epic shout out to the STP1 in the previous battle, Philip, uh, who turned out to be actually a viewer. So, Philip, shout out to you. Hopefully, everything is absolutely fantastic. Uh, with you and with, uh, you know, your family. Anyway, let's see what we are able to do over here. One artillery. It is once again American artillery. Who could be a bit of an issue? Uh, my aiming was very weird in this situation because... You can't do this. You can't do this artillery. Okay? Let's just, you know, can we be friends for a second? No! Uh, super gonk. You didn't get the shot and you actually blocked my shot as well. Unlucky. What can I do? Nothing. Let's not cry about that. Let's uh, pull back actually. I do not want to receive yet another shot from the artillery. Oh, yes, 7 is in, uh, in the very annoying hull down position, honestly speaking. I'm actually thinking about crossing and going after those tier 8s and this is actually exactly what I'm going to do. This is actually exactly the thing I'm going to do. So let's clean up our tank. Nice and beauty. Full. We have to be worried about a bit uh, from that area up here. Bisonte might be able to snipe at us. What not, but... Willing to take the risk. I am willing to take the risk. There it is. My spotting, my assistance should be at least. And uh, hello. Hello, IS-2. Okay. We got Tess, and now we Z. He's ready for us as well. Maybe round going through. Yeah, this tank, you know, it doesn't have the most reliable armor. Do you have another shell left, or did you empty both already? I guess this guy emptied both shells, or both uh, shots. Emptied the clip. Good shot into IS-7. We need to get rid of that guy. 
We indeed need to get rid of that IS-7. Okay. And make sure to turn around. So we can be a bit safer over here. Can't hit. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Terra drink. Almost. I take tracking. We is that uh, across the across the river as well. And is now on the other side. Now the question is, is IS-7 alone now? Let's do a quick little side scrape. Yes, IS-7 seems to be alone now. Hello? Beautiful. I am going to receive one shot, but absolutely nothing I can do about that. Taking out IS-7 is uh, way more important than caring about receiving one shot, you know. Supercon can easily actually charge that uh, WZ town. SU might be over here. SU should be over here, actually. Okay, we can do side scraping again. SU will back. Beautiful. D30 and Krilla. D30 and Krilla. D30 is up there. Krilla. Ay, ay, ay. D28. D28, I think, is up here. Might be actually up here. Or on that uh, ridge line. But Krilla is missing. So Krilla could also be at A line or maybe one, two line. Somewhere over there. And now after that uh, high roll from T28, I am in a bit of trouble with my hit points. But at least we made some plays over here, you know. Armor, once again, is not the best thing about this vehicle. Like, the firepower is nice and everything, but honestly, do not rely on your armor. Gorilla has still not been spotted. Artillery drowned. Well... <sighs> I'm going to lose, so I'm going to drown. Uh -huh, uh. Absolutely tragic. Let's load in a high explosive round because uh, Grilla just fired and we have plenty of time to reload that. We have plenty of time to reload this. And boom, just like this. You are dead. D30 is the only guy left. I have high explosive going in, so let's actually switch it. I need intuition badly. He has full HP as well. Oh, yeah. If I could get one shot into you, I would be happy, but no. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know, like... There is honestly nothing more to show you about this vehicle. Once again, it is 5A if you have it in the game you know or if you have it in your garage you know how it plays already if you don't have it well getting 5a is cheaper way to get this vehicle as well that's all you need to know about this so we were able to hit our blind shot into d28 beautiful actually so 4300 6300 combined this is wz111 or wz111 jillin with the special skin up for grabs, 5,500 units, a lot of gold you have to spend for this, take it or leave it up to you. I get you next time with something else, I get you tomorrow with the final offer in the Under the Hammer event, and if everything is uh, correct, you know, if uh, 3 tier 10s, 2 tier 8s uh, prediction is correct, uh, then tomorrow we should get a tier 8 vehicle. Maybe a brand new one, maybe an old one, we'll see. Stay tuned for that, I get you next time, I get you tomorrow. Stay awesome, stay sexy, take care, and bye.